Our new session is on the focus on the approaches of organization. Approaches uh, to organization developed time to time and actually this is a development of different approaches or theoretical orientation to study organization, to study the structure and function of the organization. Now, this approach uh, includes a lot of theoretical understanding. Among them, the first comes the classical approaches to the study of organization. Classical approaches means it is the most established and uh, validate approach to the organization, to the study of organization. Do not make any confusion with the name of classical approaches. Classical approaches does not mean the old approaches or the obsolete one because classical approaches are still being in used in the modern and complex organizations in our country and other countries as well. It is widely practiced worldwide. Classical approaches, among the classical approaches, what is seen that most of the time it is experiencing the bureaucratic understanding or the administrative understanding or the scientific understanding of the organizational structure. Bureaucratic, uh, along with these understandings, bureaucratic understanding it is all structured most of the time classical approaches emphasize on the bureaucratic understanding then administrative understanding and then scientific understanding of the study of organization another main important part is the four a's of classical approaches to the modern organization that is structure specialization, scalar principles and span of control. So, you can see, you can understand from these points that these are the main features, these are the main domain of classical approaches which includes bureaucratic understanding, administrative understanding and scientific understanding of the modern organization. Now, what is structure? Structure is the significant part of organization which ensures the similarity, the basics of how to work, how to perform, how to get integrated, everything is structured. All the activities, all the functions and all the departments would be structured from the very beginning. So, there will not be any confusion between two departments, between two sub-organizational sectors that which is my domain, which is another person's domain. That is called structuration, structuralization of an organization. Second is specialization. Classical approaches always emphasize on the specialization of work that comes after the division of labor. The first work is divided into different parts and then those Divided work is being specialized by the professionals. So, classical approaches always emphasize on the specialization of a particular work instead of encouraging a person to cater the whole project or the whole work. They only get concerned about the particular part of the entire project. Next is scalar principles and then span of control. So, these are all the main structure of modern organization which is in practice till date, which is in practice till date. That means that ensures again that classical approaches are not the old approaches or the obsolete one. They are rather than, they are more established, they are more practiced and they are more widely spread organizational system or organizational features found in modern organizational system. Then we would move to the features of classical approaches. First is in classical approaches and employees are 
treated as economic being. Employees are treated as part of any other resources like machine, like management, like structure of the organization. So, in this case, employees are dehumanized. Mind my word, employees are dehumanized from their work. They are taken as a particular resource like any other resources available to the organization. And along with that, I mean with the development of the first step, we can conclude, we can come to the next level that is the maximum exploitation of that resources. When we get all the resources hand in, we can think of, we can plan of exploiting all those resources to the maximum level in order to get the goal. So, here again employees are treated as the particular resources to the organization and then they are maximum exploited. They are maximum utilized or maximum exploited in order to generate the particular goal or the finished product. At the same point of time, there is another point that is called adjustment in modern organization there is less scope for adjustment adaptability and flexibility in modern organization there are very less scope for adaptability adjustment and flexibility which again ensures which again hinders rather which again hinders the development or the good health of an organization. They only go for the discipline which is regulation rules and regulation which is written in format. So, when you get the rules and regulation absolutely written in the format, you can, you can have a very minimum chance of adjusting in those. So, that, that results in the inflexibility of the organizational adaptability and that caters to other supplements like discipline but at the same point of time this discipline sometimes hinders the development and the adjustment of the organization as a whole. Now this classical approaches we would now discuss on its three types. These are actually types or forms available under under the classical approaches. First is bureaucratic approach, second is administrative approach, third is scientific approach. So, in our next step, we would be explaining those. Thank you.